This is Leila. In this video, I'm going to talk about a new custom visual creator and a new visual that we have uh, inside Power BI. So, uh, you saw some of my videos about Charticulator. I explained that we can create custom visual with a no code environment that is charticulator.com. So, I have a couple of videos about them that actually how we can uh, actually create charts and then be able to uh, export it, uh, we able to export it with a Power BI custom visual. So I have some vi uh, videos about that and of course some course. But now in this video, I'm going to show you that we able to actually, there is no need to export from that website. Uh, now it's available in Power BI. Actually, the, uh, if you go to the get more visuals and search for uh, charty later if you search for that one this actually is available there and you can uh, create custom visual and use it inside power bi desktop which is great so when you add it same as the uh, previous one i've just already added so uh, it's already there uh, you can see it as a, a visual over here and you can create your own visual over here and make it available which is great actually uh, it still is in preview we just announced a um, couple of months ago so it still may change because uh, it's a new and is a really powerful one so when i click on that as you can see in the steps showing so you need to get the data and then you create and then you can use it so i have a data set about um about sales and about the age uh, age range of the people who was sales and i'm going to use it so this is the data that i have as you can see here if i just zoom it you can see that i have a age range of the data i have the sales amount for the female that I'm going to unsummarize and don't summarize. So these are my data set. If I back to the data, this is the data. So I have the age range and how was the uh, sales amount for female and male. And I want to show them in, in a actually two bar chart. So here I add the data. Now, if I click on three dots at the top, so if I click on the three dots at the top, that is edit. So it's actually navigate me to a place that I can see and the charticulator page has been embedded. So you have the option to create chart or import template that in our scenario, we are going to create chart. So you can see the environment that you can see here is exactly the same that we have in charticulator.com, which is great. So same as that one, we uh, able to add, we have X and Y axis and we have a glyph review that is actually for the each data point. In this example, I'm going to add age range as a Y axis. So I put it over here and the data is actually has a different age group uh, that 40 to 45 um, and it's part of the chart. So I'm going to the plot segment. So I click on the plot segment over here and you can see specification i want to the order should be reverse so as the top i have more than 100 and then the rest so when i change that so here you can see the change in the next step i'm going to create two bar chart beside each other using the data access data access when i put it that because it is going to create a chart for each rows of the data it should be under the glyph so what i'm going to do i'm just make it a bit maximize i'm going to create a data access that starts from here and end to here so if you want to see you see that is a start from here to here another data access it starts from the same place by end at the other so one of them need to show the sales amount for the female and another one is a data access for Male. So for the first one, that is this one, uh, I want that it shows the female one. So I drag and drop for the female. As you can see, it shows the sales amount for the female. And um, so this is data access one. Or you can change it, for example, data access for 
female so you can see different and also another change I want that this data should be be on the other side so instead of default I put it opposite so it's become on the other side the other one that I can call it as a male uh, I'm going to add the male data to that so it's coming here so this is a kind of the I have three data here one is the age range one is the sales amount for female and male so I'm going to create a bar chart on this end so to create a bar chart of course I need marks and I'm going to use a rectangle for that okay so here uh, you can actually add it over here okay so we are going to do that uh, just let me make it a bit bigger you can see the average of the sales amount over here so i'm going to uh, connect it from zero to the average so that means that for the each rows of the data is going for the each rows is going to put there uh, we're doing the same for the male part so i'm just going to add a shape for the male part so here you can see on the glyph area that is for each data point we have shape one that is related to the female so i can change the color to be something like this and also i have a shape two that is related to the male cells amount and i'm going to change it to for example to the orange one now uh, here is actually i have a bar chart i love to have a uh, actually text to show that so we have two type of a text one text is general for the whole chart another one that has a rectangle around that is for each point of the data so again I'm going to add it here for the each data so you see that is appear for the each uh, kind of rows of the data and for the text and again look at here for the glyph is actually that takes coming here so that means that this is for each rows of the data i want to show the for the text i want to show the uh, actually the actual value of the female so i drag and drop it to the text area so here you are do the same for the male part so i'm going to click on the mark uh, choose the area and just put it over there uh, I think I made a mistake here, so just let me do it again. So this is the text value that we have. And again, for the text box one, we are going to put the male data. So that is actually the data that we have. So here you are. So you can actually show it inside Power BI. So you can add more changes, change the color, everything. Just remember that, that all of the data points that we have for the each rows of the data will appear on the glyph. If you want to add something to that, you need to design here. But it's something regarding the general chart. For example, if I want to add a title of the chart, I can add it somewhere here and i can create something like uh, the for example pyramid chart and it's become a value that we have on the chart area so now you just save it and come to the area so you can see it as like this uh, still there's some problem with the scaling uh, so uh, but it still is work so let's try it so I put a slicer over here and I choose a different age range for example if maybe I choose a couple of them so you can see that it actually works with a age range so or if you uh, for example if you have a uh, if you have a chart uh, with this one you can actually is it also it can be impact on the other one so this is a kind of the interactive chart and you can actually use it to be uh, for the other one and see that how it actually works there is some problem still with uh, a scaling sometimes so for example uh, sometimes it doesn't accept some of the scaling that I think that issue will be reason uh, will be solved as actually its progress so it's still some problem with the scaling thing but it still is actually working fine 
uh, for some really uh, scenario. So that's a thing. So I hope you work with that and you hope you enjoy it. Uh, I will post more videos about that and new updates and also any uh, kind of problem solving regarding the scaling uh, in the Power BI. I will definitely upload and uh, talk about that. Thanks so much for watching this video.